Today, we're talking about half marathon training, specifically how fast and how long to do your half marathon long runs. So if you're getting ready for a half marathon, a big question that I get very frequently is, how fast do I do my long runs? Is it an easy pace? Is it a recovery pace? Or is it close to my half marathon race pace? How do we figure this out? Well, I think it's first very beneficial to recognize that different runners have different goals. So if you're a first time half marathoner, you're getting ready to run your first half, congratulations by the way, you're gonna have a great time, then you shouldn't have any performance expectations for your long runs. Let's instead just worry about getting them finished, getting the distance complete, and getting comfortable with that time on our feet because that is what's going to help you be able to finish the half marathon distance when you line up for that race on race day. Now, in terms of a distance, I think beginners, those who maybe are running their first half marathon, maybe your only goal is to finish the race, let's get up to 10 miles during our training. That's very similar to the 20 mile distance for the marathon. If you can run 10 miles during half marathon training, you're gonna be able to finish the half. Just like if you can run 20 miles during marathon training, you're gonna be able to finish the marathon. Now, even if you are a very advanced runner, you're trying to run really fast, maybe break 90 minutes or even 80 minutes, 75 minutes in the half marathon, most of your long runs should still be essentially glorified easy runs. So they're still run at your easy running pace, but they're just much longer than a typical base run or recovery run. Now, it's important to note that easy pace is not recovery pace. So a recovery pace is a slow jog. It's what you do in between repetitions when you're running a workout. It's what you do on, say, the shortest run that you're gonna do every week for your recovery run. That's a recovery pace. The goal there is to simply get some time on your feet, complete the mileage, and do so without a lot of stress so that you can prioritize that recovery and then come back strong and fit and fast for the next workout or long run. But a long run isn't a recovery run like that. No matter how slow you run a long run, it's still longer than any other run that you have during the week and you're gonna have to make some adjustments. There's a bear in my house. They're in their safety zone, so the bear can't get them. This is how I have to work now. <laughs> okay, so you're doing your long runs, you're doing them at an easy pace, which is still easy, but it's not your slowest pace that you're gonna run all week, which is your recovery pace. But advanced runners are also, advanced runners also wanna do some higher quality long runs. And you know what that means? That means doing essentially a workout during your long run. And that can take so many different forms. You might finish your long run up with a progression. You might run one, two, or three miles during the second half of that long run. <laughs> We're gonna have to do this another time. All right, here I am. I had to come outside because uh, <laughs> obviously that wasn't working. We're all adjusting to our new reality. But what were we talking about? Half marathon pacing for the more advanced half marathoner for their long runs. Yes, okay. <laughs> we're gonna get this video done one way or the other, guys. <laughs> if you are a more advanced half marathoner and the goal isn't just to finish the race, the goal is to run the race fast, then there's a couple different ways that we can think about our long runs. First, still, just like the beginner, a lot of them are still going to be at our easy pace. But now we're gonna start adding in some complexity, some difficulty, some new ways of making our long runs more challenging. So the first thing that we're gonna do is not just run up to 10 miles. Our goal is not to finish the half, our goal is to run it fast. So instead of trying to run up to 10 miles just so that we can finish, 
we're going to treat our long runs in a very similar way as a marathoner would. So doing long runs that get up to 16, 18, even 20 miles will only make you a better half marathoner. You're going to be really strong. You're going to have the endurance and the strength to run a fast half marathon. So once you get the distance up of during your half marathon training, get the distance of your long run up to a good distance. 15 to 17 miles, I'd say, is a baseline for the more advanced half marathoner. And then once you're comfortable with that, you can start adding in some complexity, some faster finish long runs, some long runs where you're doing mile repetitions at your goal, half marathon pace during the second half. And these long runs are long, like a typical long run, and most of the running is still done at your easy pace, but strategically throughout that long run, you are doing a progression, a fast finish, a series of repetitions, some fart licks even. So there's a lot of different options, and it's one of the reasons why I love running. You know, there's almost an unlimited number of ways that you can structure some of these workouts. Um, but ultimately, this is what more advanced runners have to do to get a faster half marathon is they have to start treating their long runs like another workout during the week so if you can do this if you can get the distance up if you can run most of them easy but then once you're comfortable with those distances start adding in some quality you're going to be a much better half marathoner now with all this said what is our easy running pace now easy running pace is a pace and it's also an effort and and I think it's dangerous for us to be really strict with our easy running pace because it is variable it depends on the terrain it depends on how rested you are it depends on whether or not you're caffeinated whether or not uh, it's really hot and humid out or maybe it's cooler out so your easy pace is really an effort and it should be easy <laughs> And a little bit more detail on that is if you are out there and you're wondering if a pace that you're running is easy, use the three C's. This is a really easy framework of determining if your easy running pace is actually an easy pace. And that is make sure that your running is comfortable, controlled, and conversational. If you feel comfortable, if you feel in control, and you're able to carry on a conversation, that's an easy pace. Keep it relaxed, keep it comfortable, and you'll be doing just fine. So I hope that you found uh, a couple insights in this video so that the next time you're training for a half marathon, you can work up to a distance that is appropriate to the goal that you're training for. And then also you're running your half marathon long runs during training at the appropriate intensity. Most of them are easy. But then once you start getting a little bit advanced, you can start doing some workouts and that's where things get fun. So I hope this was helpful. And I also am curious what kinds of long runs that you do while you're training for a half marathon. Leave your comment down below underneath this video on YouTube. And if I can, I'll comment on your workout and I'll tell you why I love it.